Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, I'm Rob from RobNoFoto.com and in today's video I'm going to be talking about upgrading the memory on your laptop. Um, specifically, doing it a really easy way using the um, Crucial uh, System Scanner. Um, so you can figure out <clears throat> what uh, memory you need, what type of memory, you know, and what you should be ordering. So um, one of the big advantages we have with our um, modern laptops and mod modern computers is they're 64-bit operating systems. I think there was, I think Vista is, isn't it? Windows 7, Windows 8. I think there was even a 64-bit version of XP. And the whole point of having that is you can have more memory. You can have more RAM because um, we used to be, be quite limited. Um, but unfortunately, when you buy a laptop, it doesn't often come maxed out with the amount of uh, maximum amount of RAM you could put in it. For example, I've got a Acer Aspire E1571. Um, it's an Intel Core i5. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, but it's only got it's well, I say it's only got it's got four gigabytes of DDR3 memory. However, it can take eight gigabyte eight gigabytes of uh, memory, and increasing the amount of memory, increasing the amount of RAM, random access memory your laptop or your desktop computer has, is probably one of the best ways of speeding up, up especially if you're really into quite processor and hardware intensive uh, things like uh, editing photos, you know, like raw files, lots of them, or uh, especially video editing as well, when you're trying to render things, um, and I mean, I've had this laptop since since Christmas, and I've done hundreds of videos on it, and you know, and edited thousands of photographs. And although you know it's much much quicker than my old one, there's nothing wrong with making it a little bit faster as well. And it's kind of always been uh, kind of um, eating away at me the fact that I could could really really make it faster by fitting more RAM. But the difficult thing is, you know, there's hundreds of different, well, thousands of different of laptops out there, loads of different types of RAM. And I was a little bit, ooh, you know, what do you buy? How do you do, how do you know what, which one to buy for your laptop? What will fit it? And all that sort of stuff. So I did a bit of Googling around. And actually, if you go to, if you do a Google search for crucial memory or crucial memory upgrade, that's C-R-U-C-I-A-L, and go to Crucial's British site or um, the American site, they actually have something called the, uh, I think they call it the system scanner. And what that does is, is a little program you download, it looks at your laptop, or I guess your desktop too, and it'll say, right, this is what you need to buy. You know, your system's got four gigabytes of RAM in it, but actually it can take eight gigabytes, and it's got a one single four gigabyte stick in, for example, like my one. So you can stick another four, if you get another four gigabyte stick, put it in, you've got eight gigabytes. Really easy, and then you can, you can buy... Um, buy that RAM as well from Crucial. So I thought, wow, superb. Um, so I reached out to Crucial and they in the UK and they were kind enough to send me a stick of four gigabyte RAM that fits my particular laptop. So what I'd like to do in this video, I'm gonna um, go to a, cre a screencast in a second so you can kind of see the process you go through to go to Crucial's website to figure out what um, RAM you need. And then what I'm going to do is do a little video of fitting the RAM to kind of show you, you know, how easy it is. Now this only really applies to my laptop. You'll have to see the particular instructions for your particular laptop. And remember, don't work on your laptop if, if it's um, within the year's guarantee, unless because you, you'll probably void the warranty. You know, always take it to uh, the place where you bought it from to get them to do any upgrades for you to keep that warranty in place. And also always look at the guides on how you should replacing RAM because you can obviously damage your laptop or your PC if you do, if you do it incorrectly. And then at the end, uh, what I might do is a little screencast of going into something like, I don't know, Lightroom just to see how, how much faster it is. I'm really excited about having a faster laptop. And then uh, I'll do a little conclusion at the end. So I'd say, well, why don't we go over to Crucial's website and um, you know see how you can select the right RAM for your laptop or desktop. Okay, so here we are at Google. So let's uh, have a look. Crucial memory upgrade. Let's see what we get. So what we can see down here is we've got the UK link, uk.crucial.com. And then down here we've got the American link, which is just crucial.com. So let's go to the UK one. And we'll come across to Crucial's website, which is here. And then here we go. So we've got a couple of different ways of selecting what we might need. We can either do it by manufacturer, so we can go in, say what we've got, 
and then do it that way. Or we could just scan the system, which is really cool. So let's just click on scan. And this works the same with the British site and the American one. And then you've just got agree to the terms and conditions. Download the scanner. So that's downloaded. Just got to open it up. And it just come up with a warning say, do you want me to let, allow this to do this? Yes, please. So it's just doing the scan. Just doing the scan. I mean, I did used to, I mean, years ago, I replaced the memory in um, desktops and things. Um, but, you know, with a laptop, yeah, it's a little yeah. bit more, um, oh, there's my phone going off. So here we go. It's uh, completed the scan. And what we can see now is it says, well, if I want some, well, here we, here we go. So on the left-hand side, we've got the specs, uh, my Aspire E1571 system. And it says, uh, my maximum memory is uh, eight gigabytes. Um, and the memory is in, uh, two, I have two slots, so two banks of one. Um, and I've got a four gigabyte stick in one of the slots and the other one's empty. And so what that means then is that obviously I can just buy a four gigabyte stick to go in the empty slot. And that's what this is here, sort of in the middle of the screen. It's saying, yeah, four gigabytes of DDR3 PC3 unbuffered non-EEC or ECC is £31.19p, including VAT. So just add that cart to buy it as well. Now, the other thing that they uh, suggest as well is a... Um, solid state hard drive, an SSD hard drive, because this can really speed up your computer as well with read write times. Instead of having a spinning disc with magnetic media, it's just like a, like a massive SD card really that you can upgrade your laptop to. And, and I, don't know, I wouldn't mind having a go at that. Um, how much is that? There's 166.79. Well, maybe not today. So there we go. You know, all you've got to do is do the little scan, add it to your cart, buy it. You know, in a few days through the post, you'll get um, you'll get some memory that you can then upgrade your laptop or desktop to. So what we do now is let's um, turn the camera back on and uh, delve in to my Acer Aspire and put in that extra stick of four gigabytes worth of RAM memory. Okay, so here we go. We've got my uh, Acer E five seven one set up on the table. Um, I've put a uh, just a cloth underneath it just to protect it so that it doesn't scratch it or anything. Now, first thing we're going to do is just flip it upside down. Now, this probably isn't going to be the easiest thing to see in the video. It might get a little bit blurred every now and again. So, what I do recommend you do is, if you go on YouTube or the internet, just have a search for uh, memory upgrade for your particular type of laptop, and you'll see. Um, uh, you, you know, you can see how it's done. Now, first thing you notice, the laptop's off and it's not plugged in or anything. So the next thing I'm going to do is just pop pop the battery out. So no, there's absolutely no power going to the laptop at, at all. Let me move it out of the way. I'm just going to slide it down a bit so you get a better view of what I'm going to do. And on these Aces, the uh, memory is actually behind this bit here. So I've just got two screws to undo one here and the other advantage is obviously you, using a cloth is that your screws don't roll away so just undo those and again be gentle with everything you do you don't want to be crossing any screws screw heads or breaking any plastic just just take that off and so what you can see here if you haven't looked inside your laptop before we've got a ram over here we've got our four gigabyte stick that's already in it um, and then over on the right hand side, this is a hard drive, so that's quite good, isn't it? So now I'm just going to take take my stick of RAM, carefully unbox it. Let's do it this way, being very careful not to touch any any of the metal contacts. And then what you'll notice on the RAM, there is a uh, there's like a little cut out just there and that's what lines up. Now this next bit, although in lots of videos they say it's very simple. It is a little bit fiddly <laughs> to do. So I would say watch, watch plenty of videos and basically what you have to do is you line it up and you're pushing it in at an angle. So I'm not pushing it in flat, I'm pushing it in like at an angle like that slightly into the top. And all you do is you just gently press it down and you'll hear a couple of little clicks. And that what the little clicks are, they're these little metal um, tabs clicking over the top of the RAM there and there. 
just check it's in right so yeah so that's clicked into place that's it the ram is now in the laptop and probably the, actually the, the fiddly bit is put getting the back back on normally with these sorts of things because again you don't want to snap any of the taps um, but the way it works is you do have to kind of click them into place there we go and again another good reason for having the cloth underneath is protecting the screen let's get these screws back in on there on there Oop. nice and gentle use no force don't get angry when you're doing this if you're not sure stop and get somebody who knows what they're doing to do it or take it to the shop because you do not want to be doing this on a laptop that again that's um, under warranty because obviously doing stuff like this could void your warranty so they're done up let's get our battery get ready to pop this back in um, see that one goes in done we're almost ready to go and I'll turn it back on and then uh, right um, let's have a look and see if the baby is any faster okay so that's it we've got the we've got the eight gigabytes of memory in the system has uh, recorded it um, I've done a quick bit of playing around and everything seems a little bit snappier um, I did a um, WEI uh, test, um, which is the Windows Experience Index, which <laughs> I don't think it's in Windows 8.1 anymore, but it used to be in Windows 8. And you can download it. A guy's done a kind of a copy of it, and it gives you an idea, a really basic benchmark for your system. And my memory operations per second went from 5.9 to 7.5. So, you know, that, that must be good, mustn't it, I guess. Um, as you could see from the video we've just done, it was incredibly s simple and quick to upgrade the memory, especially on this Acer E1571. And actually, it's kind of inspired me probably maybe to get an SSD hard drive because that looked good as well. Um, so yeah, so as I say, um, this is Lightroom. Um, let's go in and have a look. Everything just seems, you know, that little bit snappier um, because what should be happening now is instead of having to rely on the um, hard drive when the RAM runs out of space, the uh, the computer can use, carry on using the RAM. Now this is, will be especially important if you've got lots of uh, different programs open at the same time or lots of different tabs on your browser. For example, um, <laughs> Google's um, uh, Chrome uh, browser, which I use a lot because it's pretty pretty fast is notorious for um, using lots and lots of RAM so if you're the sort of person who has lots of different things <laughs> excuse me lots of different tabs open at the same time you find that more RAM will make a big difference indeed but I'm really pleased um, and I whoop, we didn't want to go into that one I'm really pleased and I'm really grateful for crucial for um, sending me the RAM to show you how to to upgrade it so you can um, make your system run faster and make you more productive especially as I say for editing photos editing videos you know browsing the web and generally your day-to-day -day laptop um, computing so as I say all you've really got to do is go do, do a Google search for crucial memory upgrade or go to uk.crucial.com and uh, just use their system scanner um, scan your system see what RAM you need order it and to pop it in and you'll have a better faster laptop or PC you know in probably I mean how long did it take me 10 minutes to do it you know dead easy dead simple and uh, I'm really chuffed well that's it from me my name's Rob from robnonphoto.com if you like the videos in fact uh, let's zoom over to um, YouTube slash scale speeder that's me isn't it so you can quickly see if you like the videos please subscribe I'm fine it's not there <laughs> should have set this up before shouldn't I if you like the videos please subscribe um, hit the thumbs up button um, put some comments down below and uh, hopefully I will see you again soon